All right, my brother, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to approach any woman in public in a confident manner. Now, with that being said, and you know in all my videos, I like to put a caveat, probably shouldn't be approaching just random women in public. Why? Because you don't have anything in common with her. And so it's gonna be harder for you to really engage in meaningful conversation unless you've got your charisma level 10 and you're hitting a natural 20 on the fucking die. You're gonna have a harder time with it. So in this video, I'm gonna talk how to approach any woman in public confident and not acting like a weirdo. You probably don't wanna hear me say this, but yes, looks fucking matter. They don't matter as much to women as they do to men, but they do matter because what do looks give you? It's the first door. Right? If you see a woman and you find her very attractive, that's the first door. You're like, okay, well, she's got that. What else is there? And so for men, it works the same as well. Go to the gym. You should be doing this anyway. Make sure that you're not overweight. Get yourself in shape. Try to get some muscle on your body. It's going to do a lot more for you than just the looks of women because we don't want to be doing all this stuff just to get the approval of women. You want to do this for you. And you might even start doing it this way, but you'll find out going to the gym and making yourself look good, dressing well, Learning to groom yourself is gonna do a lot for you first. You're just gonna operate different. The guy that's jacked is not the guy that's watching this video. If you're this guy that's been overweight his entire life and he's not really worried about his dress and he's not really worried about his health, and then you become that guy, get the fuck out of here. You're not gonna be even operating the same. You're gonna be feeling a lot better because you're really validating yourself. And that's part of the game is you do this to validate yourself. And you find that as you start working on your looks and you start working on your appearance and how it is, you start feeling better. And because you start feeling better, you start operating different, which then means people start treating you different, which then means you are validated more and you validate yourself and you start operating different. It's just this whole cascading effect. And you're like, well, the women just really like me now because I changed all this. Yeah, but everything else changed along with it. You've transformed. And that's what we really want to elicit is that kind of transformation. So. I got a guy that I know, his name is David T. He's freaking awesome. And he's probably approached more women than I've ever, than I've ever met. And he'd travel in and around Europe and he, was just, he would just do this. He'd just go stay at women's houses and this is what he would do. And guys would pay him to show him how to do this. And the thing that he would always say, and I'd have to absolutely agree, is the calmest guy in the room is the sexiest guy in the room. Because he's grounded, he's secure, he knows who he is. He's not trying to get validation from this woman. He's not trying to get the approval of this woman. Why would he have to? He's already whole and complete on his own. And that's why he's attractive. Because a lot of guys are going around just chasing after women. They put them on a pedestal and we call those guys simps. And the problem with this is, is that he gives her all the power. The woman doesn't want all the power. She wants you to stand strong in who you are. And so the thing is, is that if all guys were strong and connected within themselves and weren't chasing after women, you know, it'd be an even game. This wouldn't even be a thing. But the fact that most guys don't do this just completely just elevates you as a guy who's powerful and strong in himself. This doesn't mean you don't have to be interested in a woman. Like a lot of guys will say, yeah, I'm just not into women at all because I'm just gonna go my own way. It doesn't mean that at all. It's like you can still have desire, you're just not letting that desire control you or assuage or make you change your opinion on how you operate in your life. And so this whole game of being calm and collected and cool based on who you are and secure in yourself is really what we're trying to do. You don't need to sit here and try to act confident. I'd rather you just be secure in yourself, be comfortable in your own skin, and then the confidence will come out of that. And confidence comes from competence, and you become competent in talking to women by being calm in your skin and having people to talk to and having that kind of practice. So that's, the, that's what you want. You want to be calm, calm and collected, the calmest guy in the room. And you get calm by slowing down. You know, the way that you operate, this energy that you're carrying to the table shows everything about you. If you can't slow yourself down because you're so anxious and you're all in your head and all your energy is kind of lifting up, then, you know, she's going to feel this. She's going to just tell what's going on. Like, she's going to feel your vibe more than anything else. And women are very intuitive. They're going to intuit what's going on within you before you even realize it. A lot of times they know it better than you know yourself. And you're like, she'll say, yeah, that guy's insecure. I'm not into him. Like, well, I got this car. It's really cool. Hopefully it'll get women. It's like, no, she, he's insecure. I'm not really into him. And she doesn't care. She might even think the car is amazing and cool and want to ride it, but she doesn't want to be with this insecure guy because all that's doing is validating him. She doesn't want a guy that she has to validate. And so part of this is learning to stop for a moment, notice how you are inside, check in, and slow the fuck down. Slow your voice down. Slow how every, everything you do down. What this is gonna do is gonna highlight all your insecurities and everything that's going on within you. And then you can work on those and start becoming more secure and confident in yourself. And slowing down 
calms your energy. You gotta calm yourself down. If you can calm yourself down, you can get calm in your own energy, then maybe you can do that for the women around you in your life. You can be the rock of your family, rock of your relationship, and then you can lead effectively from your masculine core. But until you can do this, you're just gonna be pulled around by whatever her opinion is and whatever her validation vehicle is or whatever it is that she wants because you think that this woman matters more than you do. And with that being said, it's your energy the way you feel internally, the way you operate, that's really gonna dictate how this conversation is gonna go with this woman that you approach. I could tell you, hey, you should smile when you walk up to her. You should have good energy. You should be upbeat and all this stuff. But if you're insecure and you're not calm underneath that, that's just gonna leak out and it's just gonna sabotage everything. And so you're like, well, I did all the things that it told me to do and it didn't work. And I'm like, yeah, it didn't work because, well, you weren't calm and collected and cool and you weren't slowing the fuck down and you didn't have a good energy about you. So she's gonna intuit this. She's gonna intuitively feel you out empathetically and see what kind of guy you really are. This is why some guys can get all their women and other guys cannot because they can keep themselves grounded and secure in who they are. And so you, in your energy, in your vibe is the most critical thing that you can do when you're trying to approach or talk to anyone, really anybody in the world. Because your energy is what's gonna dictate the outcome of the conversation. It's going to elicit either somebody to open up or to close down to you. And really, when you're trying to talk to them, you're trying to get her to open up, right? You're trying to make her feel safe and comfortable and like a pleasant to talk to you. And unless you're in this space where you're really in a good energetic spot, it's just not gonna happen. All right, brother, we're gonna talk real about this for a second. I like this angle of the camera. I like this a little bit better because it feels a little bit more intimate. It looks like we could have a conversation. I'm just sitting on the stage just telling you something. See, when you're out there and you're, you're trying to talk to women, most guys, they just like walk right up to her. It's like they're a juggernaut. And that kind of direct energy, well, the assertiveness is nice. It can come off as a threat. And so they don't, want, they don't want you to be a threat. They just want to vibe with you and talk to you. So maybe just scoot up next to her and then just make a joke. Or it doesn't matter what you say. Again, it's going to be your vibe. And so, for instance, the other day I was at a traffic light. I was trying to get to the traffic light because this woman was already there. And she went across the street, but she was waiting. I don't know why she was waiting. It was still red. She could have still gone across, but I guess she was still afraid to, I guess, I don't know. Maybe she was waiting for permission or something. I don't know. But she was standing there, and I'm walking up, and the cars are coming up here, and they're starting to stop. And I get there, and then the light turns green right when I get there. And so she could have already crossed, but she didn't for whatever reason. And then I get there, and I'm like, ah. And I, I kind of turned to her. I was like, well, it looks like we just both missed it. And then she just laughed, and she thought that was great. And I didn't really have much to say to her. And then at that point, it was time to cross, and then I crossed. And I don't know which way she went. wasn't really worried about it. But the whole purpose was is to demonstrate that it doesn't take much. Like, you just being calm and comfortable in your own skin and just vibing with the people around you, just being open and just having a good time, that's all it takes. And at that point, when you're trying to talk to her, you're trying to connect with her. You're not trying to have an agenda. You're not trying to get anything from her. You just want to connect with this woman. Because if you have an agenda, you're trying to get something from her, that means you're trying to get validation. And she's going to feel that. She's going to be like, he wants something, but it's not really me. And that is the first indicator that you're being creepy. I'm just going to get this sex from her. I'm going to get this whatever, this validation from her, and it's, but it's not her. You're not really trying to get her. And what she wants is a guy that gets her and wants her. But if you don't get her, you don't get a chance to connect with her, then what's the point? And I mean, maybe you've been watching too much porn or something and it's keeping you from really connecting with women because you see them as these objects that you wanna just have relations with but you're not even relating with them. You're just like trying to get from them. And this is the problem that most guys have. They just can't connect with the woman in front of them. And they can't because they can't get out of their own head. They're all caught up in their own insecurity. They can't be calm and grounded and centered and just see the person in front of them for who she is. And that's all she really wants. She just wants to see you seeing her having this human experience deeply. And that's what she wants. She wants to feel you can connect to her. Even if she's not that interested in you romantically, she'll still appreciate the fact that you connect with her. And she'll, you'll stand out amongst everybody. So anyways, brother, hopefully this video has helped you. If you'd like to conquer your own insecurity and gain confidence in, in yourself and so you can do this thing called approaching women in public, go ahead and click this video here. If you like this one, hit the like button and certainly subscribe if you want to see more like it. And uh, I love you and I'll see you in the next one.